Namaste everybody, this is Radhika Chopra. Today I want to talk to you about something that comes up a lot in conversation, uh, whether you're a numerologist, an astrologer, and uh, I have even heard people discuss this uh, because um, a lot of people have children and uh, then they have to choose a name for their child. So this becomes a big topic of discussion. And uh, so the question really becomes about should we uh, choose the date of birth for our child? Is it okay to do that? Or, and should we even uh, choose a baby name? Uh, based, I know in astrology they look at the, uh, the akshar or the beginning of the name according to the Rashi. Uh, but in numerology people actually go through the entire name and find a name that's more suitable. So the question is, uh, should we do this or should we not do this? And what's my view on it? Uh, now, there are many views on this. Uh, some say it is like interfering and so we should not interfere and not choose, uh, you know, the, the birth of the child, the date of birth of the child. Uh, we should not be choosing the name uh, because it's interfering with the karma. Others, uh, or, you know, in the, on the same line, they will say that, uh, you know, let things, let them happen the way they are happening why do we have to think about it? Why do we have to do it? So let's go with the flow of life. Uh, and so they both are very valid. Um, but um, now I have also contemplated on this because, you know, a lot of people do come to me and ask me, so what is the date of birth we should choose? Should we choose this day? What is the name? And these are the options. And I do give people a consultation based on what I know. And uh, so I've really asked this question that uh, as... Um, as someone who is giving people date of birth and the names, am I also doing uh, something that is uh, which is interfering in nature? And what what is it this what is the right thing to do? Okay, so um, here is my uh, opinion or my experience so far. Uh, I feel that uh, do not seek uh, to uh, choose uh, a C-section. For example. There are people who are very deliberate, uh, of the very deliberate mindset that we're going to have a baby and we want to choose a C-section because we want the child to be born during this uh, date, this time period, uh, you know, and all of that. So they really manipulate it, they really strategize and that simply doesn't feel energetically right to me because I feel that is very, very deliberate. There's a lot of intellectual strategizing that's going on there. It's very manipulative. Uh, so, um, I would not recommend that personally. However, if in certain cases the doctor will say that, you know, choose a date uh, for a C-section because you've got to have a C-section, uh, choose say 23rd and 24th of this month because these are the two dates that are available and, you know, the baby should come within this time. Uh, and uh, so, when something like that happens, um, you know, but here's the most important part of it. That is, if the thought arises that should I, uh, you know, choose a date or the time that is that I feel like I should choose a date and time uh, so that this goes very well for me, for the child. And, you know, if that thought arises, sometimes it's a very abstract thought. Um, and I feel that, you know, we are, it's very difficult for us to have an original thought. And if a thought is persistent and consistent, then pay attention to it because maybe it's an opportunity. Maybe it's the way it is ordained to be. So the thought comes through you. So the the divine, um, you know, clay or the blueprint of this baby, uh, you know, we think we are doing, but we're really not doing anything. Everything is happening through us. So if the thought is arising and we go through with that thought and consult someone, it is something that's happening through us. So it's very important to be clear that you are not the doer here. Uh, and it's something that's arisen, uh, you know, uh, as a big wave within you. And so you are therefore consulting someone. In that case, I think you should go ahead. Uh, so, um, uh, and you know, even if you choose a date, sometimes the baby might come a little earlier or come, sometimes it might come a little later and not according to what you thought it would happen. Uh, and in that case, I guess, when the dridda or the fixed karma is so strong 
for a certain experience the baby will come there no matter what you thought and what you did so there is this uh, you know this this unseen and ununderstandable uh, cosmic play and uh, we should accept that as well where you know if there is a change um so um so that is my opinion about choosing a date of birth for the baby uh, secondly um so i'm of not of the opinion to keep telling people that you know just because you're having a baby you must come and take the date it's only when the person spontaneously and organically feels it uh, and they approach you uh, not because you sell yourself or you sell this expertise but they approach you for it then definitely uh, give the name because you become one of the you know uh, what's the word i'm looking for you become one of those um, instruments through which this is actually transpiring now when it comes to baby names uh, a lot of people ask for baby names uh, and uh, they wonder why they should do it the reason really is that a baby name the purpose of having a baby name is to find something that's most compatible uh, and there are many factors one is to the child's own blueprint because now the baby is born at a certain time a certain date and uh, it's already fixed right so now something that's compatible or help the child through their uh, life process that's one of the reasons why people uh, choose a date of uh, i mean a name for the baby the second is also to make the child's name or connect the child through the name and make the relationship with their parents and their siblings uh, stronger or better or mar- more harmonious right uh, and also mutually because you are born into certain families to have certain challenges with those people as well as certain learnings and including help and support so just to make it more conducive more compatible uh, it's very helpful there uh then we also uh, see we all have uh, challenges in life that's why we are born we all have to go through certain challenges uh, certain karma as some people call it and you know they are fixed some of them are something that is inevitable they have to be endured and they are fixed so those cannot be changed come what may um and they play out but those things which are adrida which are, are not fixed malleable in nature then you may have certain whispers or you may have certain indications of help that uh, will help you through uh, you know bringing about a more harmonious more conducive more uh, you, you know uh, supportive energies uh, into your life and so that is why people choose baby names okay um so so i hope uh, I mean I just wanted to share with you my point of view on it and there are many many people who have their own points of views you must follow what resonates with you uh do not go into the uh, you know the herd mentality of it it should really come from your heart and or as a thought and then go for it uh I do feel that we do get uh indication whispers and um the subtle subtle help that comes along which kind of give us um you know uh, the, the helping hand that we require through uh, to change our challenges into blessings and we must take it i think and the others which you cannot change uh, we must have the strength to endure it and that's what we all actually um, must uh, have endeavor towards and we all will have certain weaknesses and that's what makes us human so it's not about becoming a perfect person and having a perfect life it's about accepting your humanness with your flaws with your challenges with your weakness because that is also what is the uniqueness and the beauty of you as an individual so let's not strive to be perfect and right all the time let's just be who we are uh, completely conscious of our you know our so called positives and our negatives and um and move through it consciously so that they start changing and your life becomes more enhanced and you're moving through th- certain things uh, more consciously and that's the way to live life fully so i hope this video was uh, useful 
and informative for you thank you so much and um, please subscribe to my channel radhika chopra it's a little difficult to find i believe uh, because there's somebody who's a singer in my name and i don't sing so you might have to type radhika chopra healing so please subscribe to my channel i will be sharing uh, some interesting stuff including a great interview that's coming up on uh, thursday so um and that will be available on thursday on youtube it's about ayurveda and doshas uh, and uh, yoga as well as astrology and ayurveda so thank you so much bye bye